Reef here. So on today's episode, I'm going to talk about coralline algae. Coralline algae is an algae, an encrusting algae that grows on your rock, in your reef tank, and in the oceans. It's widespread. Um, so like in your reef tank, we always want to try to get that nice coralline algae, like pink, purple, different kinds of greens and colors. Um, in my tank, I started with all dead rock. Um, I aquascaped dead rock. And everything all glued together. And then what I did is I bought one piece of uh, live rock from a local fish store and I seeded, seeded my whole tank. I'm going to show you guys in this episode how to seed your tank. Okay, I call it the Coraline Algae Smoothie. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of rock into my tank tonight and we're going to take it to the lab downstairs and I'm going to show you the process, what we're going to do to make the Coraline uh, Algae Smoothie. In my tank I got a lot of purple, a little bit of pink and some greens in there. You can see it's forming on the back of the glass. I want it to encrust back there as well. Um, so I'm going to take a, a sample piece out of my tank. We're going to take it downstairs, and we're going to we're going to I'm going to show you what the process of what we're going to do. All right. So I just made okay. it down into the lab. Um, so I end up I picked out our specimen we're going to use to tonight to make our coralline algae smoothie. Um, so I got the rock. I got the rock out of my tank. It's got a lot of pink and purple algaes on it. All kinds of different little critters and stuff. So this is what we're going to use to seed the tank. Um, so we're going to scrape this. I end up I got a, my my uh, diamond bit. Uh, hole saw we used in my other video. We're gonna rub on here and chip off a lot of the coralline algae. And I got a paring knife that we can dig in there and really get the big chunks out. Um, and another thing we're gonna need is I got uh, the blender to make our smoothie. And I got Kent magnesium and I got calcium as well. I'm gonna show you guys how to measure that out to add to our smoothie. So let's get this process started. Right, so we have our specimen rock here with all our coralline and pink algaes on it. Um, I put a piece of plastic down. It's going to be easier to grab the pieces that come off. Um, so as we scrape off here, all coralline algaes, they have like spores just like anything else. So they want to seed down, but we're going to speed up the process. We're like the parrot fish of the ocean. We're crushing up the corals and rocks. And then the parrot fish, you know, they, they spread it all over the oceans. And that's how the coralline algae grows in the ocean. So we're going to do this. So we're going to, you're slowly just going to take your paring knife. And grab the algae you like, the colors, like a dark algae. You should wear your safety glasses because pieces do fly. So we just do this. Take off all the nice colors you like. This really speeds up your tank. You'll you'll find a big difference because the, all the spores will attach to all your live rock that's in your tank now and then start new little colonies. So you see that? All the pieces coming off. Keep doing that. I like to try to get all the big, the big colony different colors are purple and pink. First, get them out. See, you can see on the end of my, on the end of my knife, see it just falling off. Those are our spores. That's how we're going to seed our tank here. That's how we're going to make our coralline smoothie. I call it. Really hope this helps you guys. It really helped me. So when I end up going to be building my thousand gallon tank, there, I'm going to do the same thing. All dead rock, and start with uh, one piece from this tank, and seed my other tank. I was doing this a baby about maybe once a week. Just keep this chunk in your sump, so you can just keep uh, harvesting from it. Give it another tap. See, there's a nice big chunk just fell off there, guys. So you just keep carving like that. And the other thing to do is you just take like your diamond tip blade and just go over the rock like this, just like sandpaper. Take all the different colors you like, knock it off. There's right here. There's a really some really nice uh, dark coralline algae. I want to get that too. So. I'm gonna take my paring knife and I'm gonna carve that out. Get some good chunks. See that, guys? Look at that. That's coralline algae spores, boys. So we're gonna clean that up some more. Then you just put this in your sump, and it'll regrow it back on again. And plus, as it's because it's all tore up in here, the water in my sump will flow over it and knock off more spores because it's loose. So we do that. Get right in these crevices. Some real good stuff in here. So just give that a tap. See all that? That's all going to be new coralline algae in the main display. Give it another little... You can see how the coralline algae is coming right off. See all the white spots? That's it's cleaning right off. So we're, we're being the parrot fish right now. Clean that right up. Alright, give it another little tap. Brush it off. All right, so there we go. We have all our all our spores right now. They're all over my hand too. So we got all our coralline algae spores. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna clean these all up. See how that is right there? We're gonna put that, I'm gonna clean that all up and I'll show you the next step. I just 
cleaned up all our algae right now. So I got a little uh, pile of all the spores we're gonna use to seed our tank right now. So I'm just gonna clean this up and uh, show you the next step. Right, guys. So I got our, I got our seed. Um, this is our Coraline algae spores. You can see how much I got here. This is what we're gonna use uh, to make our Coraline algae smoothie. So we got our seed. I got some uh, magnesium from Kent. I got some uh, calcium advantage and I got this all measured out. So what we need, what else I got is, this is from the water from my sump that we're gonna put in our smoothie. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our uh, sump water to our blender. All right, that was about two, cu two cups of water. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, it's half a tablespoon of calcium. We're gonna put that, mix that up. So I just put that in a little sampler. I'm just gonna mix that up. So right now we're gonna give our uh, our spores a good fighting chance. We're gonna make them like super spores here. So just wait till that's uh, all mixed together. It's clear to go. All right. So we're gonna put that in our blender. That's our one ingredient. So that was just half a tablespoon of uh, calcium. Next thing is, I got uh, our magnesium here. I got a, just a two milliliter container or a syringe, and we're gonna fill it up. So I got two milliliters of magnesium in here. I'm gonna add that to our Coraline smoothie. All right. So we got that mixed up. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our, our spores, our Coraline spores. We've got our pink, our purples in there from the tank. So I'm gonna add these to our next to our ingredients. So we add that right in the blender. So you, you probably don't wanna use a good blender. I think this one here, I just, uh, I bought online off of like uh, Kijiji or whatever for like five bucks for this uh, purpose. So I'm just rinsing all out. I want to make sure we got all the spores out of there. So the next thing we're gonna do is gonna put the cover on, make sure you got our, got our latch tight, and then we're just gonna let this baby mix up here. So right now we're chopping up all the spores. So they're all like, they're gonna be really um, to the smallest molecule. This way the smaller they are, it just seeds the whole aquarium. Right now we're chopping up the, the paint in uh, all the different colors of coloring algae right now. So by us adding like magnesium and calcium, we're blending that right into the spores. So I call them like making like super spores for our tank. Speed her up some more. You want to blend it really good because after we're done this, we're going to add it right to the display tank. Let everything float down to the bottom a little bit. There's some couple big chunks left. This really works really well. I'll show you a before, before uh, tank shot before I've done this, and then. You guys see my videos my tank looks like now. All right, so we got her all blended up there right now. So what we're gonna do, so I'm just gonna dump this back into my sump, my rest, the rest of my water. So now we're gonna take our, uh, our Coraline algae smoothie. We'll just dump it into here. So we're good to go. Just make sure we got all the little pieces out. Blend it around. All right, so there we go. You guys can see the color of it now. That's our Coraline algae smoothie. So now we're gonna go upstairs and see the main display tank. So this is the parrot fish, uh, you know, spreading all over the ocean. All right guys, so let's head upstairs right now and uh, add this to the tank. So we made it upstairs. So we got our Coraline algae smoothie. We got our pink algae, purple algae. Uh, we got our, all our spores in there. It's all seeded down, a little magnesium, a little calcium. Put it all in the mix to make a smoothie. So right now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put this right in my tank and show you guys this is how I seed it down to, to get all this purple and all the different colors of Coraline algae in here. So what, the best thing to do is put it in a high flow area. So I'm gonna put it right in front of one of my MP40s and let it spread. It'll get, be a little cloudy for now, but you're gonna see a lot of growth really quickly. So let's do it now. So there we go. So right now you can see see the, all the spores being uh, deposited into the tank. Some of the fish are actually trying to eat it. 
So that's how you seed down your tank with coralline algae. I find this is the best way to do it. I've seen some guys that grow a little, little coralline algae on a piece of plastic and they put it in a high flow area. Yes, that works too, but if you really want to speed this up, you want to smash up, you know, you want to smash up that coralline algae, break it down to the finest, finest uh, particle, particle, particle it can be, and so it attaches itself to the rock, and then you're going to have an explosion of coralline algae, guys. So that's how I do my uh, my coralline in my tank. That's how I seeded it down, you know. So if you guys like this episode, uh, you know, please leave comments. I really like the comments, guys. Leave them. I like to. I like to answer them. Um, I read a lot about different corals and all that stuff. I got a library of books that I do. If you guys need me to look you up something, hit me up with that. So if you guys like this episode, please uh, hit the like button, subscribe, guys, and we'll go on to the next episode. Thanks, guys. Bye.